Another breaking story, mm. Damien Barrett, over to you. What is going on? This is quite extraordinary. Dane Zorko and Took Miller, they've had a blue over the years and it's now continuing. It's Wednesday night and it's still going. Yeah, it is. And the AFL, as we speak, it is finalising its own deliberations and inquiries and investigation into the, the stoush between Dane Zorko and Took Miller. We'll just revisit it straight away. Saturday afternoon, Gold Coast Stadium. Uh, this happened. Through the hands of a couple, squeezed out in the Zorko direction and he was happy enough to take the high contact and didn't get the free. Nice Miller, Zorko, they've got some history. Let's go. Oh, oh, there was an accusation. I'm not sure. Accusation was... Dwayne thought it was a high tackle. <laughs> it turned out not to be. <laughs> it did. Um, it was not just reported there by Dane Zorko, but moments later at, at a stoppage, also to an umpire, Dane Zorko said words to the effect of, I want that reported. Please report that. So how it wasn't raised in the MRO when it was adjudicated the next day and, and totally dismissed, in fact, not even referenced, um, when it was cleared um, from all manner of inquiry. Dane Zorko, clearly not happy about that, Monday morning on SEN Radio, then decided to bring it back into the public domain. Yeah, it's interesting. You're allowed to grab the groin region now and squeeze it and do whatever you want to it. So that's um, an interesting rule that's just clearly <laughs> been cleared by the AFL. So quite interesting that got off. I mean, we had really good evidence to support the case. And I tell you what, my groin region's quite bruised at the moment. So yeah, it's funny how that, that all happens. So there's stunning claims from a, a wow. former captain of a footy club. Uh, the AFL has interviewed Dane Zorko and Tug Miller yesterday. I believe tomorrow they will at least make public their findings. And I think there's every chance that Dane Zorko misses a match, quite possibly multiple matches. That, that is certainly at play, potentially. If, if the case can be proven, and if Dane Zorko backed up what he said publicly on radio and to the umpire at the time with the interview he gave yesterday, I can't see how the AFL could, could, could not come down with a sanction. Uh, took, took Miller. Took, you, took Miller, you, yeah. But that's a, a yeah. step there, but Took Miller. Right, Lordo, uh, what do you reckon? Uh, what does he get if he's, if he's found guilty? Well, I, I think, yeah, he either gets off or he gets three weeks. I, I, that doesn't look good to me. It looks, oh, I'm actually wincing watching that incident personally. So, yeah, I, I think that says on the highest end yeah. of serious offences if he is found guilty. Yeah, yeah, because it's not a very clean act, Damon. As you mentioned, if both players have been interviewed, hmm. Well, then it normally gets followed up. And then that's, I think, clear to be referenced straight to the tribunal because that is something that we've heard Michael Christian talk about. Get up to the tribunal and explain wh what has happened because it's very difficult to put in the matrix of offences as we see here. They've got form, haven't they? They've got they form. They, they go at each other in the pineapple grapple. Yeah, they do. And, and these are past on, incidences yeah. with it. Look, there's been a, a suggestion, and, and, and I can empathise for what it's worth with Dane Zorko's situation in this. If, even if you remove Miller from the situation, if Dane Zorko was was alleged to have done what, what he's alleged Took Miller to have done to him, he would have almost certainly been fined, uh, sorry, suspended already to this point. So the fact that it's now Wednesday night going into Thursday from a Saturday incident, and it's, it's basically been required of Dane Zorko himself to, to bring it to the public forum twice, once with the umpire and now um, publicly on, on radio, and then in the interview with the AFL. He, he hasn't missed. He's gone hard on it. Yeah. Whatever what yeah. happened to the, the code? I know. I don't think there's any code there. But what are you no. suggesting there? That you're saying that they've looked after Took Miller because he's Took Miller, then they'd go after No, him. What, what I'm, the point I'm making there is... It, if, if Dane Zorko was accused of, of doing what he's alleged someone else to have done, a bit like but if Toby Green is suspended, uh, reported ever, he, he goes straight away. I, I just feel there's, there are rules for some, and I think Dane Zorko would have copped it prior to this moment in time. It would have required a special investigation for it to get... Sure, to surely an investigator, though, who has spoken to Dane Zorko would ask that very obvious question, do you want to take this further? Hmm. And that's when it would probably go further. But well, clearly but, he, but he wanted to. He, yeah. he reported it. Yeah, but that, that's what he said in public. But if, if the investigator's on the phone, yeah. that's your moment. Well, I could be putting Took Miller in for weeks here. Yeah.